Hey cutie! Fancy making yourself some gorgeous dark chocolate chip cookies? Well, I made a really simple, easy to follow recipe. If you've ever baked anything before, you've probably got half of the ingredients in your cupboard already. And these are just dead simple, go with any hot beverage of your choice. So let's get into it. Grab those ingredients. You're gonna need 110 grams of sugar, half and half if you fancy, 55 grams of butter, softened, a tablespoon of oat milk or your preference with half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, 100 grams of flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of rice flour, and 100 grams of dark chocolate or chips, but chunky when you chop it up yourself. Grab yourself some baking trays and I just rub some butter on them but if you have some parchment go ahead and throw that on, either way it works. Now you want to grab hold of your bowl, get a spatula and first we're going to add in the sugar. To that you want to add in the butter that we have and once you have both of those in the bowl you want to go ahead and mix them together and you want to get them nice and fluffy. At this point I realised why am I doing it by hand when I have a mixer so if you have a hand mixer go ahead and get one of those and like I say get it nice and fluffy. Just pull that together in the bowl and now we're going to add in the liquids. and mix that together one more time. Next we're going to sift in the flour. If you have one of these handy little um, sifters, grab one of those. If not, a normal sifter will do. And add in all of your flour and make sure that it's as smooth as possible. Go ahead and mix that in with your spatula and try and do a figure of eight movement. This will help it fold into the batter without it spraying everywhere. Once that's all nice and together, grab your chocolate, maybe eat a piece and drop that into the bowl and mix that together. Once that's all mixed together really nicely and even, I mean, at this point, if you're so fancy, you could just eat this. And then go ahead and get your trays from earlier. And you wanna make sure that you put the batter in even piles. Uh, don't flatten it out, just make sure that it's a nice pile and make sure that all is even as possible. That way they'll all cook at the same time. And this recipe can make as many or as little as you want. You can make huge giant cookies, these ones are quite big, or you can make small cookies. It's totally up to you, just as long as they're all similar. And I realised at this point that I actually didn't need the tray at the back. Once you've got your cookies on the tray, all looking lush and plump. Like I say, don't smooth them down. Don't worry about flattening them out. The oven will do that for you. Just 
go ahead and pop them in the oven 180 degrees if you've got a fan assisted oven and they want to go in for about 10 to 15 minutes just keep an eye on them and as I said they will flatten out as they go in the oven looking tasty Once they're done, grab an oven mitt and pull them out of the oven. I don't know, there's something about uneven cookies that's so satisfying. I know that they're going to taste better. Leave them to cool down on a tray for a few minutes and once they're cool just get them off with a spatula. If you put parchment down this should be pretty easy to peel off the parchment. And just pop them onto a, um, a bowl or a dish or um, a carton, whatever you're going to store them in. Honestly they don't last very long in our house so we just put them on a tray and I guarantee you by the next day they've all gone. Um, which is why I try not to make cookies that often because I know I'm going to eat them all um, and these were absolutely delicious um, there's something about putting the dark chocolate in them that once they've been cooked it's so sweet they're really gooey in the middle a little bit crispy on the outside uh, they're just how cookies should be Thanks so much for watching cuties, I will pop all the how to and the ingredients in the description below. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one. Just remember, if you're going to make these cookies, please dunk them. That's what they're meant for. Cookies are meant for dunking. I'll see you in the next one guys. Bye!